Hey there, it's Dr. Doug Willen, and here we are at Rising Star Horse Rescue in Connecticut. So we're gonna be working on some horses today. So we're gonna check them head to toe. If you want more information of Rising Star, it's in the description below. So we have Gallagher here today. Gallagher is a 24 year old Belgian warm blood. And um, he, still, he still rides, right? He's still out there. He's very active. Uh, he jumps, he rides, he uh, has a full day every day. We're gonna just start to take a look and I'm gonna once in a while need you to switch yeah. sides. So the first thing I'm gonna do if I can is just feel his cervicals and feeling up and down Checking the space between the atlas and the, the angle of the ramus is up here. And he's really tight on the left. So he has a left superior atlas. And that means the atlas, the wings of the atlas went towards his skull, uh, went. And so I'm gonna get up here. So you might wanna move away. Just yeah. uh, give yourself a little slack. And um, So I'm letting his head come down a little bit. Got it. Let me see what that did. Okay, so the space opened up. Now I'm going to come down the cervicals and check. And we're going to check for, we're going to check for lateral flexion. So the head comes to, to that side okay. We're checking. Now he's a little older. He's 24 years old. And we're going to bring them this way. If you're going to keep yeah. switching sides, okay, you'll be on that side. And so he's he's a little locked up at the pole. So we still have to do that. Let me feed him now. So what happens is when he's laterally flexing, he still he has to rotate. He can't do a pure lateral flexion because. Uh, He's a little jammed at the pole, and so I have to see if he's posterior or, or which way that's going on him. So here I am up at the pole. Make sure you have a little slack, and, yep. and um, you have to stay um, very aware while we work. Okay. Got it. Good boy. All right, let's give him a second. So I just did adjusted the, uh, uh, basically it's a left atlas posterior. And let's just let him settle into that. Give him a second. Now I'm gonna feel the, um, the cervicals again. Good. Let's see how he's turning now. Okay, good. So I'm going to come down the thoracic, so I'm going to keep working. And feeling up in here. I'm going to look at him from the back. He's not squared up, so I'm going to square him up just a little bit. He's got a little bit of an AS ilium on the right. I'm just going to adjust into here. So I'm going to wait till he kind of leans into me a little bit. I'm on the, uh, his ilium went anterior superior. So here, hold him up here for a minute, but, but watch your fingers. And we're going to adjust right here. As soon as he gives me a moment, here it is. Good. my little bail. The nice butt tuck. Did you see that? So we saw that little reflex. Beautiful. He collects himself nicely. I mean, he really is a nice shape. Yeah, he's, he's, oh, we go older from here. Yeah. yeah some of them are, we've worked them in the city. So I'm checking the thoracics. Humans have seven cervicals, horses have seven cervicals. Humans have 12 thoracics, horses have 18. Humans have five lumbars, horses have six. And as I come down, I'm looking to see if there's any spot that makes him twitch or wince. And I'm coming down. 
I'm getting a little something in the lower lumbars. I'll count in a second and tell you which one. He feels pretty good in the withers. And I'm also checking for ribs too before I get up and work. He does have a little bit of a rib misalignment here around T14. Let's see if he lets me get that one. I think I'm more concerned with that one because that's going to be tender when he's under the saddle. So let's see. Now, now um, it's Ava? Yeah. Ava, I'm getting up there now. So here it is. Got it. And while I'm up here, I'm also going to do his sacral base posterior. Got it. And here's... Oh, it's slightly left. So I have L5 posterior left. Got it. No, you might see him lick his lips now. Watch, watch his face. A little bit. He should relax from that. He had his leg cocked. Yeah. So I'm going to also... Just look again from here. I'm going to pick his leg up and switch. Bring his leg straight up. Just checking range of motion. Checking everything through here. Nice. Now he feels really good there. I'm going to come to the other side. Checking range of motion. Bring him back out this way. Checking extending it. Pretty nice. Nice. I'm not seeing any misalignments on this front end. Let me just check uh, scapula height. His right shoulder is a little low. So what I do is when I come up and I feel, I'm a little out of breath because it's hard. Um, I'm going to lift up a little bit on his scapula. So come around this way. So we do a little lift here. Got it. Now let me recheck. Nice. I think that's it. Let's do a little facial tension where we track out. That's it. While I'm up here, I just want to look at his TMJ. No, he's balanced. He's in good shape. So that's all we're going to do today. Thank you.